Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice brisk five below zero Fahrenheit this morning. Burr. Good morning, Tanner. Good morning. What are you doing, mister? You ready for school? Yeah. You're dressed all nice and warm. Look at that nice sky this morning, Olivia. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. You got snow all over your nose. Are you digging in the snow, mister? I'm cold. I'm cold. You can't take him to school with you. Yes. No. You gotta leave him here with dad. Say bye to Livy's. Love you. See you this afternoon. Come on, let's go. You gonna go in? Come on. Ah, oh, Tanner loves the snow. I'll have to try to catch it on video. He'll pick a big snowbank like that and he'll burrow himself right into it. And he comes out and he's all covered in snow. It's pretty funny. Good morning, girls. Everybody wants to know when you're gonna start laying eggs again. The bod rocks are still pullets. They haven't laid their first egg yet. I'm thinking any time now the bod rocks should start laying, especially since the male roosters just started crowing. We should be having eggs from the winter greenhouse any time now. The sky color has already changed, but red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. So I'm assuming that's talking about the snowstorm we got coming. They're calling for up to 10 inches right now. I'm curious to see what happens when it comes in. Hopefully it'll stick to all the ice and I can take my ice cleats off. It gets kind of noisy listening to the ice cleats. Good morning, girls. Did you stay warm last night? Swap out your water pail. Drank most of your water. There you go. They ate quite a bit of their seaweed already. And some of their goat minerals, but not as much. To the left of the goat minerals is baking soda, and then over here is diatomaceous earth. Baking soda for them is like an antacid for us. It helps if they get bloating, they'll eat it. Before I begin, I'll open your door. They're like, we don't, we're not worried about our door right now. We want our feed. Come on, Willow. We had a viewer commenting this morning that he was starting to plant already and he'll, in March he'll be having leafy greens to eat fresh out of the garden. He's from Texas. I can't remember your screen name, so if you remember writing that comment, leave it down below. But I just think it's so amazing the different areas that we all live in the different growing zones. Is there anything you're getting ready to plant anytime soon and when you'll be eating it? We won't be planting our garden until May. <laughs> yeah. well, that's, that's our last frost date. Is I'll have to start cleaning up the basement a little bit. And I'll make a spot so we can do some indoor growing and get our tomato plants and pepper plants started inside. I think this is going to be the last week of milking willow, guys. <sighs> Sad day on the homestead. Sad day. <sighs> a couple more days and we're going to be done milking. Hope she's pregnant. Gonna have to bring down some more hay soon. 
Come on, Buttercup. I want to see how you're getting in the hay feeder. Come on. Go ahead, Buttercup. I want to see how you're getting back in the hay feeder. No? Let's see if she goes in. Maybe it's that one? I don't know where she's getting in. How'd you get in there yesterday? After I fixed it, huh? The mystery continues. Every time I see Pluto lying in front of that wood stove, I'm so jealous. That floor is like a heated floor. Let's see what the temp is. 90. You got the right idea there, Pluto. You ready to go out? She's like, okay, I'll come back in and warm up after. Pluto, you got it so good. Yeah. She's got the life. After we finish taking care of the animals this morning, I want to go out in the woods and see what we can forage for free food for the goats. I bet you they would love some different kinds of browse. They're probably getting sick of that hay. That snow is getting pretty close to being to the bottom of the door. When the snow falls off that roof, we're going to be in for it. Good morning, girls. I'll take your water. Is that some good water? A lot of people keep asking about putting the feed in their bedding. The reason I do that is they scratch and peck it and they keep that bedding all turned up and it's nice and loose. If I didn't put the feed on that bedding, that bedding would be one solid mat and it's not easy to clean out of the coop and it doesn't stay as clean and smelling as fresh. We hear you, Moose, we hear you. All right, I am seeing one egg. Is it warm? Nope. Keep your ladies warm today, Moose. Keep them warm. Olivia's excited to make egg noodles for that new pasta machine. If you guys didn't see the video of us making Pringles, I'll put a link to that video right here. But we were using the pasta maker to make Pringles. So today we're gonna be making some egg noodles and some chicken noodle soup for dinner. It's a good day for that. Right, Pluto? Come on. First time all season I'm gonna be putting these on. This is gonna be nice. Curious to see what we can find across the brook for the goats to eat. I'm gonna get you something different to eat. Yeah. I can't get over how deep this snow is. Those clouds are pretty wild. This area that we're out walking in right now, we had that log last spring. I'll put a link to that video right here with my mitten mark. It's about four acres. We had a really wet summer. So we haven't had much success turning it into pasture yet. But someday, when it looks as green as it does white, that's gonna make an awesome pasture for the homestead. The amount of animals and kinds of animals we'll be able to have here is going to be awesome. We'll be able to raise our own meat cows, goats, sheep, pigs, you name it. Man, it's gonna be so exciting when that happens. The reason we had this four acre area log is if you look around, 
You see all the thick woods over there and over there. They're old pastures that have grown up. They're thick, you can't walk through them. We've been getting a lot of storms up here lately. Every time a storm comes through, it blows down more and more of the big pine trees. Then you can't walk in it. I'm gonna show you when we get over our brook, what this looks like over here. And it wasn't like that this spring. This right here is a small creek bed. Over here is the other part of our property. We had it logged, but they didn't clear cut it. I don't know if you can see from here, but there's a lot of blown blowdowns. It's there, over there, up there, and over there. That just happened this fall. I hope this creek bed's frozen. Oh yeah. Uh oh, now we're good. Uh, we got a bunch of smaller pine trees over here. There we go. Thinking if we take down two of the pine trees right now, the goats will love it. I like that one. Better shake off some of the snow so it doesn't fall down my back. There we go. That's one. I'm gonna grab the axe before I forget it. One down. Wonder if we can find something over this way as we head back to the goat barn. I'm not sure. See that tree right there upside down? I'm not sure where the rest of that pine tree is. I don't see a pine around here that would have snapped off of. Huh. That would have hurt if somebody was standing right there when it landed. I think that's what you call a widow maker. I think I see a nice tree to get for the goat. I think this one right here would do nicely. Seems like it's got a lot of long branches on it for the goats to eat. Where's the axe? Ugh. There it is. All right, let's chop this one down. Better put the cover back on. That thing's pretty sharp. I don't want to cut myself. All right, let's see. Oh, it's got a branch or two buried in snow. There we go. Ready? Hopefully they stay in now. Well, this bank's kind of a steep drop off, but let's get down to the creek and we'll follow the creek bed back and up around.
<sighs> I'm not sure who's getting more out of this trip. The goats getting the feed or us with the beautiful views. Man, it is gorgeous out. So glad we took this little trek this morning. So beautiful. Winter sometimes can be rough. But then when you get to see stuff like this, it's worth it. Oh. Gotta get some tie-down straps for the sled. There's the widow maker I was talking about. I don't know what tree it came off of though. Ended up tying them in with the sled rope. Let's see if we can get them out. There and there. All right, let's set one aside, kind of away from the goats, so they don't try to come out and get it. Keep one there. I'll give them this one. Hey, Buttercup. What do you think? Does that smell good to you and taste good? I think that'll keep them entertained for a while. Back to the house. Olivia will probably be home shortly. Look at these two. You comfy? You warm? Yesterday we made a nice oven roasted chicken. Now way today we can make a nice chicken and egg noodle soup. So we can make some egg noodles with our new pasta maker, huh? Yeah. That's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Normally we make egg noodles, we do it all by hand. We just got a pasta maker the other day. Other than making Pringles with it, this will be our first time using it. If you didn't have a chance to see us making Pringles using a pasta maker, I'll put a link to that video right here. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. Put our Instant Pot on saute mode. We got our celery and our onion in there. We're gonna mince up three cloves of garlic. Cook those on saute mode till the onions are transparent. You're playing with your ball. Go get it. Ready? Go get it. I think that ball is almost the same size as you, Sam.
good job. We're using homemade bone broth from the roasted chicken we made last night. There. I don't know if we're the only ones, but we like adding corn to our chicken noodle soup. Do you put corn in your chicken noodle soup? And what else do you add in when you're making it fresh? Do you smell that soup, Pluto? Does that smell good? Stop home. Tanner, no barking. That looks like a big long tongue, this one. Yeah. That's silly. Yeah. Did that scare you? Oh, it's okay. It smells good, don't it? Yeah. Well, it looks so good. Oh, Olivia, these homemade noodles look so good.
homemade noodles look so good, Livy's. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. Oh, they do look so good. They do, don't they? It's been sitting for a while, so I hope we don't burn our tongues because I burnt my tongue testing out the flavor. Is it good? I feel like a flavor. Oh, you hear that? I think it's funny sometimes how we don't think about things in a different light. Like today going out and foraging for the free food for the goats. You just think of it as a tree, but the goats, it's food to them. We just have so much stuff at our fingertips that we only look at one way. Sometimes it's what we have going on for us, we only look at the negative, and we should be looking at the pos positive of it. There's just so much we can be thinking about all the time in the right way to get our minds and our thoughts right. It's just funny sometimes how we get stuck on one path or one perspective and we can't see past that. There's always another perspective to everything just something I've been pondering about lately I guess kind of a little odd for the ending but I figured I'd leave you with those thoughts the homemade egg noodles came out awesome Olivia did an awesome job with those it was really nice having them made with the pasta maker they were all the same thickness and the same width so they were all cooked perfectly which was nice hope you guys are having a great day whether you're starting your day with our video or ending it with the video just thank you for being here. You're a huge blessing to our family. Hopefully in the next video I can edit it with the old laptop. We just got that back. The end of the video is my voice sounds funny. It's the microphone on the on our backup computer we've been using. So hopefully in the next video we'll be back to normal. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Yeah.